day, Brooke Alley, AKA Brookers, came down to have an interview with me. Hey, how's it going? Hi, it's good. Tell me about how you got your start in video on the internet. Um, I wanted a video website to host videos on, and there wasn't many in 2005, and I Google searched for probably about two hours to try and find any video hosting website um, to put stuff on, and I finally found YouTube, and there was probably like 800 people on the site at the time, and I just signed up, picked a nickname that I kind of regret now because I really don't like the name Brookers that yeah. much, <laughs> but like, you know, whatever. You just started putting your videos on YouTube, and then what happened? It was weird. I mean, I really just put them on there for my friends to see, and then uh, random people started, you know, enjoying them. I, I don't really know. It was weird. And I got my first hater, and that was unusual, because I was like, what did I do to you? And, and the weirdest <laughs> thing was, though, was that um, the whole concept of viral videos didn't didn't really exist as much as it does now. Uh -huh. So people would link to my videos and I'd get mad. Like, why are you doing that? You're, you're stealing my content and putting it on your website, which is really now it's sharing. You really want that. Yeah. But I used to get irritated because it was mine, you know? I didn't quite understand that that was a good thing at the time. How did your videos get so popular? Everything I do backfires. Um, like the Numa spoof video. I spoofed the kid Gary because he made the Numa video. And everyone was trying to do it to get famous also, so I made one saying, don't do it, you're an idiot, you're not going to get famous off of making Numa videos, and then that backfired off me because everybody liked it. Wasn't there that one of you singing where you're wearing the Coca-Cola shirt yeah. and you had pigtails? Wasn't that before the Numa video? Yes, it was. All right, so tell me about that one, because that one got, what, like three million? That one, the funny thing with that one is it was filmed with a little Kodak picture camera, and I only could take about, I think, two minutes of footage, which is why the song cuts off oh. halfway in the middle. So I'm like going, and I did a couple of characters. I was singing to the song Chicago. Your paste video yeah. uh, with the glue stick. It was just random and silly and funny and extremely popular. What happened when you first put that out? When I put it out, I wasn't extremely confident in it. I liked the character that I created. And so I put it out there, I was like, whatever, I'm not really editing this. People probably aren't going to like it because they like my editing style and, I don't know, maybe I'll delete it or something. And the first comment I got was like, this is bad, you need to delete this. And I was like, oh, maybe I will. And then the good ones started to come in. It's hard not to focus on the negative comments. You know, you could have 20 and then if you're not confident in your work, those two negative ones will stand out. But, uh, you know, I say like, uh, you just gotta make it, you know what I mean? That's kind of what a lot of my stuff is. It's just stuff that is in there and I need to make it, to get that out, to make room for a better idea. Where do you want to go with your internet presence? Um, what direction do you see yourself going? I want to do something else, um, start doing something else aside, you know, and have other things that people can like that I've done other than the Numa video, the Pace video, and Cell Block Tango. Well, thanks for coming on the show with me. Awesome. I'm Sarah, and this is Pop17. Bye. Bye. <laughs>